Go to Best Wrinkles. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, today, as you see on the screen, we have the seven deadly sins here. Um, we are going to link the seven sins with the holidays. This now would be the fifth time I'm recording this. I don't know what's going on with the phone, but we're going to figure this out. Now, with the seven sins, we are linking it with our pagan holidays. Now, as a revolutionist and a spiritualist, the revolutionary code was to never celebrate the oppressed oppressor's ways. Okay, let's move on to the first one. Let's get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the first one. Thanksgiving. Anyone it's that Valentine's studies uh, who Valentine was and the baby, you will figure this out, right? It's one word, and I can give you two letters. It starts with the P, and then the second letter is the E. But we're going to be moving on from here because my animation game is off the chain right now, right? We have the love making, two people coming together, right? The women are digging it. Their expectations are high. And guys, what sin have they masked? this holiday with. Now I have to pause and show you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the lust. Yes, we have not the couples lusting, well, they might be lusting on each other, but the single people in the world are hunting, guys. The men are looking to take something down, and some of the women out here, they're hunters, and they're looking to take something down. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on with our pagan holidays. Yes, it's St. Patty's Day. Anyone that looks into the green leprechaun and the rainbow to the pot of gold, if you study that, you know, yeah, it's like a little devilish trick. But look, shouts out to the Irish. We love Ireland and the Irish people out here. As you can see here, we have a group of guys chilling and drinking till they can't drink anymore. People are going to be taking shots of tequila and uh, vodka and all of that jazz and reach the blackout stage. So, gentlemen and ladies, what blackout type are you? Are you type 1? Where you drink, you black out, and don't remember anything at all, right? That's type one. Type two is that you'll drink, black out, come back 20 minutes later. You'll drink 20 minutes later, black out again, and then you drink again, and then you black out again, and you come back. That's what that happens. And ladies and gentlemen, since we're having problems recording, what is the sin in this? <laughs> there you have it, guys. Yes, sloth, you're drinking till... You can't drink anymore. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're matching all the th sins with our pagan holidays here. We're moving on. Yes, now we come to Easter and the bunnies. I've always wondered and asked questions. Why? And bunnies laying eggs. I, I really don't know. I thought that it was chickadees that lay eggs, you know. And so as we take a little picture here with the bunnies and the eggs and they masked it up so well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what sin is this? I have to pause the video because we're having problems with TikTok today. Let's pause it here and I'll show you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the envy. And the reason why they say it's the envy, because the Romans back in the day were very envious of what Jesus was bringing to the table, you know, in the, the son of God and, and all of that jazz. So envy took over the Romans. We are now moving on to the next one, guys. Yes, Independence Day, where all Americans become extremely patriotic that we won the revolutionary war now let me just give some people the uh the history a little bit behind the revolutionary war england only sent eight percent of their fleet i could only imagine if they sent 90 but ladies and gentlemen the clue is here that england is still running america is that you don't speak american yes you speak english and uncle sam wants you to deal with that fact. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he wants you to deal with this. And I've always wondered, guys, I've always wondered, what would Uncle Sam look like if he didn't have a hat? Yes, guys, I've always wondered this, and now my dream has come true. What 
Sin is this, guys. I gotta pause it. Hold on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the pride. It's the pride, and it's sad I got to pause and add the effects so I can post this video. We're moving on, guys. We're moving on. Now we're gonna make this smaller, of course. Thanksgiving Day. This is a giveaway of what sin this is. This is where a family will get together once a year, which sounds weird. A uh, family should be getting together once a month or once every other month so the children can play with each other. The children know each other. And the adults, guys, can sit at the table and talk about important matters, right? So, but on Thanksgiving Day, so the women, especially the women now, they can say, oh, who made the pumpkin pie? Who made the potatoes? Who made the string beans? Ooh, that cranberry thing was good. And oh, the gravy was a little bit too salty. But you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what that is. No, I don't know. Anybody in the comments can tell me what that is right here in the pot and what's right beneath the pot. I don't know what that is. But the thing that's missing from this table, ladies and gentlemen, where is the pig with the apple in it? And where, ladies and gentlemen, is the macaroni and cheese. And for the last, where's the candy yams? If you don't have candy yams, this is not, absolutely not Thanksgiving Day. Okay, let me pause it and show you what sin this is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's obvious, isn't it? Gluttony, I would unbutton my pants and so my belly could protrude out so I could eat more and keep eating more and then pass out and miss all of the rest of the festivities. Moving on, guys. Moving on. Now, we have here, we have here, yes, it's coming up, Halloween, where everyone doesn't want to be themselves. They're going to dress up as somebody else. And I tell you this much, guys, if I ever see this person anywhere, okay, I'm going WWE top rope coming in the air belly flopping on this little child i don't care because i don't know what that is what is that and the mascara children shouldn't be wearing makeup looking scary and i gotta pause it what sin is this yes ladies and gentlemen it's the wrath everyone is scaring and hunting people down looking for everyone to go ah you know what i'm saying i'm i'm gonna jump every time well not every time depends on what's coming out but if it was that little girl i'm running for the hills now for the last one here and before we move on guys you know with with everyone the, the demons yes the demons this is their day this is their day to run amok this is their day to connect to humanity and sucking the life out of everyone but let's go to the next and final one guys yes yes saint nick yes it's the last sin of them all and what sin is this is the only the last one and like I said, guys, my animation game is getting better, right? We've got the Christmas tree and the ornaments and the gifts. Let's not forget the gifts, right? Because the gifts at the bottom of the tree here, you know, the child is always saying, well, mommy, I want PlayStation 5. And daddy, I want 20 games. And uncle, I need a bike. And auntie, I want a box of chocolate. I mean, the look, look, the... the the, it goes on and on, and the pressure that the adults have to come to fulfill the child's need, right, is, is stupendous. And I tell you this much, guys. Saint Nick, Santa Claus is not coming down this chimney tonight. No, he's not. Okay, now what sin is this, guys? Yes, it's greed. It's greed because the children want everything. The, even some of the parents, they want everything. And uh, it's just greed. And the corporations throughout this whole time has made so much money off of celebrating these pagan holidays. And here we have, guys, the list of the sins. And here are the virtues because the virtues don't get any love especially in the churches, and I'm bringing the virtues to the forefront, okay? Because patience is a virtue, your charity and your humility. Yes, yes, all of that's virtuous. So that's me linking up with the seven deadly sins with our pagan holidays. Yes, yes, and I did that. Did I do that? I did that. It's your boy, T. Wriggles B.